It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. The brilliant is Like we put this value, like like freedom. I was thinking because I was in Russia last week, right? And like, I it really put in perspective how much we, how much how arrogant we are about this idea of freedom. Like we've completely invented this idea of freedom. Like you deserve to be free. You believe it. You deserve to be free. You believe it. I deserve to be free. I believe that. Mm -hmm. We just invented freedom. That's a that's a, that's an invented idea. Explain. Explain. Someone was just like, hey, once you're born. You deserve to be free to do whatever the fuck you want. And then other people are like, yeah, I think I do. See, when I think of freedom, I don't think of that. What do you think of? I think of bondage. I think of being enslaved and you're free. I think of being in jail. Right. And now you're free. Like, right. Being free to do whatever you want to do, That's anybody can do that. Right. So well, there's so historically, you haven't. That's what Andrew's saying. Historically, there isn't a precedent for that, right? Yeah, I'm, but, speaking, I'm speaking of actual bondage. You're talking about slavery, right? But yeah. there's different levels to freedom. Like, for example, in certain countries, you're not free to be gay, right? So that would be a limitation of freedom, yes. right? And in certain places in America, you're not free to be black, right? That'd be now you're free to walk around. I mean, you're you're free not to be black, but that's your own. You're risk. not in, in bondage, yeah, 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 but yeah, yeah. there are repercussions for sometimes being black in the wrong neighborhood, being black in the wrong yeah, yeah, situation, absolutely, right? Absolutely. So like, there are. There are effects on your freedom, right? And so like, yes. Yeah, so when you say the freedom, that's the freedom that most people want. Right. They don't but, want to be oppressed, marginalized, systemically. Exactly. Because you can't really do anything about random acts of racism. Of course not. Of course not. But you're talking about systemic acts. Yes. Right. But here's the crazy thing: we just invented this idea of freedom. You got to explain. Like, I, I don't know how. You're an idiot. Hot take, by the way. So, so it's like it's like I know what you're getting. At. Yeah, me, like well, explain. It, no, it, somebody explain and, and, and help me explain okay, it. But in like the, in the best version of America, when America is held up as this shining example, it's because we demanded free. freedom from Britain. Yeah, we demanded freedom to own property, to have guns if you believe that's part of it, to yeah. self determination. That's always been, and that was the. The principle that the the nation was founded of and it separated from Britain for, and that's always, in theory, been our biggest accomplishment because it's true. Mm -hmm. Throughout world history, people don't have freedom yes. on all sorts of different levels, whether it's straight up slavery to freedom women, of ideas, women not being able to ideas. drive in Saudi yeah. Arabia yep. to you can't freedom have to vote. Twitter in China, yeah. you can only use yes. Chinese version, whatever of that. their fake version is. So there are all these different variations of it. Now the other side of the coin is. That's the principle America was founded on. Uh, are they living up to it? Maybe not. Uh, of course, Did of course. Did freedom work for Native Americans? No. Did freedom work for African Americans? Did, no. Did, but I, the principle yeah, is yeah. unique. I, the and again, I'm, is, not, right. I'm not trying to imply that we all have it. I'm just saying. And if you want to take it back a step further, they would say it's based on a democracy, French thing or whatever. which goes back to ancient or Greece, Greece, but they blah, blah, had blah. slaves But in isn't Greece. it little subsidiaries of that even in America? Because say like you're in school, yeah. right? And in school, they got rules. They have regulations. Yeah. We've all left the classroom where the day was over. And you're like, I'm free. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you know you're no longer under that rule. Right. right. So there's there's different levels of it, right? Mm -hmm. Like you're not free to say whatever you want in class, in school, right? Well, you can, but there's consequences. But there's consequences, yeah. right? And um and, and so 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 I'm in so I'm in Russia and I was you know, doing this festival out there and it was amazing uh, experience. It was a truly cool cultural experience. I'm talking to these two comics that are there who did this podcast and they were talking about this idea of um freedom that like is instilled in Americans and they're like. Here's the thing you got to understand. Ever since you're a kid and like forever in your country, you fight for this value of freedom, which is you deserve to be free, right? right? And not only do you deserve to be free, right? other countries deserve to be free. Sure. And if they're not free, you'll go out there and you'll free them. As long and, as there's something in it for us. And then he goes, well, of course, of course. Right. But I'm just saying like in its, in right. its best, in looking at things in the best possible way, right? And he goes... We've never had this concept of freedom. I go, Wait, what do you mean? Because I thought freedom was ubiquitous, right? I thought every no. human being believed in freedom. Oh, so the Russian is saying he's never had this concept. Of so freedom. he goes, so I he, understand why. so they go, they go. For our whole lives, they've been telling us, believe in Russia, the state, support Russia, help Russia, mother Russia. We are the best. Russia is the best, and right. we will always protect Russia. It's never in America. It's always freedom, then America. Right. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. anytime America infringes on your freedom, we start to protest. Colin Kaepernick should be able to take a knee. Why? Because he's free well, to take a knee. The Constitution says yes, that. Yes, because the value of America is this freedom thing. <laughs> I'm 
not even sure if that's the right exercise. It keeps hitting me in my nose. Listen, I agree with Antonio Brown when he said he needed to change these helmets. These helmets are absolutely ridiculous. Are you about to kick us out of here? Only if you can catch me. Oh, oh. <laughs> Guys, NFL season is back, okay? And you know what we're gonna go gamble? We're gonna go gamble at mybookie.com. M-Y-B-O-O-K-I-E.com. All sorts of amazing things. They got this $100,000 handicapping tournament. Only costs $100 to get in. And that's right, you could win $100,000, okay? You want me to get out of here? Stiff arm, no! Okay? Myboogie.com. <laughs> it's got live in-game betting on every single NFL game, okay? And for you fantasy nerds out there, you can bet the over under on fantasy points. <laughs> I really gotta get a better helmet. Here's the reality, okay? They're gonna match your first deposit up to $1,000. Do you know what that even means? Do you know what that even means? That means you put $1,000 in, they match it. You're gonna gamble all that money. That's only at mybookie.com. M-Y-B-O-O-K-I-E.com. You want all that good stuff? You gotta use our promo code. That promo code is idiots. Mybookie.com, promo code is idiots. <laughs> <laughs> the individual comes first. The individual and comes first. Not, not, the not state, this America not thing. The American is an, is an expression of that freedom thing. And it totally... It totally puts it in perspective for me because I was like, holy shit, I thought this was just how every human believed that they should be able to live. And then some places weren't able to live that way. Yeah, but, but there are people that grow up without even believing yeah. they deserve so it. So you're in a country where they never had that, though. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, That's yeah, what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, like, yeah. So how, but how wild is that that like you and I, you grew up with this idea that you deserve freedom even though you were being restricted your freedom in many different circumstances because of the color of your, your skin. But mm -hmm. even inside you, you were like, but they're wrong for restricting me because yeah. I deserve this thing that realistically I mean, we all made up. Yeah, I mean, listen, we... we <laughs> right? Isn't it nuts? I don't think we made it up. We didn't make it up. People <laughs> make it up. wanted freedom. They just yeah. haven't had it. Right, right. But like... For everyone wants to be free instinctively. Right. But, now, listen, it's, you're, it's, but historically well, it just hasn't happened. Well, you, well you're, you're a white male. Yeah, right. yeah. Uh, Chris is trans Asian. Right. So speaking of which, Hong Kong is an exact example of what you're talking about, right? There now. we go. That's why they're going Ham. so fucking hard because they got a taste of it. Yeah. And they know it's about they to go. Taste of freedom. And now they see it's yeah. about to go away. And you got 18, 19 year old, 20 year old kids who have grown up with iPhones and coach stores. I mean, mm -hmm. they Hong Kong is an international city. Yep. It has everything that New York has and then some. And China's about to shut and China's that shit about down. to shut it down. Why are you, you shutting it down? Uh, because it's a threat. It's a threat to what their they have. Their freedom is a, a threat to the control. Western civilization is a threat to their way of life. Well, certainly democracy. And yeah. And I mean, they, I won't go too in the they weeds. They remove all, like like China's uh, way to control their population is to remove all other influences. Like there's a reason they don't have religion out there. Right. right? And they've actually been like fucking like, ex and I don't know about exterminating, but like putting Muslims in camps and shit yes, out there. Like, yes, yes. And it's because they want the government to have the only influential factor in people's lives. And religion is such a potent idea and like powerful idea in their lives. It could create separation. It but could make- the Caribbean are like that. Like when we used to- Dude, the whole world. When we used to first go to Anguilla, they didn't have fire come. All that shit was blocked. Yep. Did I ever tell you about the time that we tried to watch Moonlight in Anguilla? Oh, <laughs> and you got to knock on the door? <laughs> what you doing in there? We tried to watch Moonlight and it was like, this program is restricted in this region, yada, yada, yada. And I was like, hmm. And so it was me and my wife and it was Van and, yeah. you know, and I'm like, what other gay movies do y'all know? Let's just, the only one I can think of was Brokeback Mountain. So I look up Brokeback Mountain. This movie is restricted. In yes. So then Netflix starts this. You know, uh, recommending Recommend stuff. It, yeah. all, I mean, yeah, you go down a Netflix rabbit hole of gay movies. Jesus Christ, bottomless yeah. butthole, yeah. right? So <laughs> you start. You just, so it's like it's all of these movies in this gay genre. Every single Everyone one of them restricted. Every single one. So, so it's one of those things where, like, w and were you surprised a little bit? No. Interesting. No. It, it, it didn't come to your. No. It didn't make you go, oh shit! Like we live in a place where you can watch any of these things. I've, I've traveled enough. And, okay, you had an expectation. Yeah, and read enough to right. know America got it good. Son, <laughs> it's crazy. Like, like, And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it's perfect, and I know that there's tons of fucked up shit that's happening, but in terms of raw freedom, 
raw freedom. No places close. How many times on this podcast? Close. And I, and I might I might even like update. Canada what? might be close. Dude, dude, Canada, you get arrested for a tweet. Canada, really? uh, a comic is, was sued for forty thousand dollars for a joke he made on stage. That's not freedom of speech. They don't even have freedom of speech in Canada. They have freedom of expression. Yeah. Because speech can be hateful and speech can be violent right. or whatever these nonsense and things. And think are. about all the times we hear about you know, and that's the other thing you heard for years. These different artists go to these different countries and get arrested for something they did on stage. Yeah, right. Alex. You know, NWA, you know, back in the day, what it was that? They were right. like in Sacramento somewhere. Sure. I forgot what it was that. They got arrested because the police officer said, you can't come on this stage with this with this rhetoric. It's like, so it's like, I, I, I always understood that concept. Right. My, my biggest thing when it comes to freedom, and it's not even about the rules somebody may have for their establishment or even for their... Their, their their town or whatever. My biggest problem has always been the rules that are systemic based on my skin color, right. based on somebody's sexuality, right. based on somebody's gender, because those are things we can't control. Right. I can go in somebody's establishment and not motherfucking curse. Easy. If you ask me, you know what I'm saying? If you you ask can't me not, to not curse, be black. That's my yeah. Yes. So that's that's a different type of freedom liberation that hundred percent where that minorities are seeking. And and it. And you should seek it. And I'm, but what I'm also saying is there are places in the world where, like, they don't even believe they can seek it. The, the idea isn't even there for them. Like, the idea in – and to be honest, this is why in a lot of ways comedy is so potent and why it's, I think, taking over the world. And that's my prediction. Stand-up is because the joke offers this perfect little uh, cloak, protective cloak for a real idea. Right. And if you're from a country that really, you know, censors what people can say, if you say something, but there's a nice little joke around it, you're like, oh, that's not too serious. It's but like can an, they take a joke in China. Uh, they, can well, they take a joke? In you you got you to see Hong how Kong, far yeah. you can go with it. You got to see how far over you can go with it. Let those little penis jokes fly over there if you want <laughs> to. <and see> what <laughs> well, I mean, it would you just be regular sh- penis. You let them short jokes fly over there and see what the fuck happens. All there right? is. It would, it's just think it, about that. We have the freedom to make fun of other people son, from other countries in America. Think about this. You're not going over there with that shit. Th- no. Think about it. It was funny when I was in when I was in Russia. I did a Putin joke. That was the first thing that I did, and I had a guy translating the joke. Yeah. And I said, I just start the bit. I was like Putin, and. No, and I look at the translator, and he looks at me. He's like, "You want both of us to get involved in this? <laughs> like, <laughs> y'all really want this to go down?" Like, I'm not, I get it. <laughs> but it was there was a little bit of a little pushback, and I understand that. But this is what fucking happens, man. And this is what true freedom is. True freedom, like think about how free we are. You can call the president. What did Chrissy Teigen call him? A pussy oh, ass bitch. bitch. Now, now, listen. Let's talk about that. Call him a pussy ass bitch. Bitch ass pussy. We don't know if that's going to fly because we don't know how petty our president is. We don't know how petty his administration is. And just because they don't do something publicly and overtly don't mean that they won't do something. We don't know when Chrissy Teigen might get on the next plane and get held up at the motherfucking airport everywhere she go. We don't know. What is, like, what is her that background? What is her background? What is Chrissy Teigen's background? She's Asian. Like what kind of Asian? Uh, I don't Thai. Know. Not a chance in the world she goes to Thailand and talks about their emperor like that. Not a fucking chance. And and her em- and the emperor in Thailand, yeah, yeah, guaranteed, yeah. ten times worse You know why? Than the Donald emperor Trump. probably fucking cut her head off or cut her hand off. In whatever, a whatever. fucking heartbeat. By, but, that, but by the yeah. way, that's what Trump wants. Trump wants to be an authoritarian figure in that way. Yes. I don't give a fuck with nobody. Yeah, else. I mean, the danger... I, I don't have... I didn't have a problem when people criticized Obama. I didn't agree with it, but, like, it's important that you can criticize the president. That's what democracy is about. Right. I think the danger isn't the Chrissy Teigen stuff, like, if you want to look at what's happened oh, I don't recently. Think, yeah. The danger is when he does the the storm pattern, changes it, won't admit that he's wrong, and then instructs the weather organization to lie on his behalf. They'll, that's the yeah, real but then thing. it turns out that it was going Fascism. towards uh, it was going towards Alabama. But but he can't reach out to them and say this is what you have to say. Right, but CNN came out and said it is going towards All Alabama. Right, but it, that, he, he was that's sort of yeah, he was right. But it, it ain't going to Alabama though. No, that's see, I, I saw the CNN report where it was like we believe it's going to cut across Florida, hit uh, whatever Tallahassee, these types of things in Alabama. Oh. That's it. Um, but the the point is, yes, exactly, and that would be fascism where you have that kind of influence over the weather, the fucking weather right. channel. That's, these types that's of things. the dangerous. Stuff. 100, 100%. He's doing that now, though, dude. Dude, there's no doubt. There's no doubt. And Trump I, told and I, Fox, "I don't fuck with y'all no more. Y'all better straighten the fuck up." He did. All yeah. right. What he's doing with the media, I think, outside of the environment. Let's not is make the it a Trump thing. Shit. Let's not make this a well, Trump thing. Let's not to. Well, let's, I'm voting for him in 2020. Let's say what? Nothing. So. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'll vote for him in 2024. No, but it ties into what you're saying. Son, you saw yeah. the thing he posted on Instagram? What? He posted Trump 2024? Bro, I've told you. That shit got me a little I nervous, man. I told y'all this already. That shit got me a little nervous. I told y'all this a front. million times. I got a little nervous Trump with that one. Trump is going nowhere. But what Trump got to understand nowhere. is America's, and this is the thing, and this is the thing that, and I don't want this to be about Trump because then it just gets into an argument and let's talk about freedom. That's way more interesting. But the, but what, what Trump doesn't understand is how much America loves freedom and values freedom. And if It'll you infringe upon that freedom, and part of infringing upon that freedom is the freedom to elect a new president every at most eight years, no matter what. And if you and granted, yes, FDR had three terms or whatever, sure. But if you infringe upon that freedom, there are Americans that will be crazy enough to make sure that that That's doesn't what happen. I ask you. Uh, yeah. Yeah. They not on. They not on the left. Let me the ask motherfuckers you. that are crazy enough to do that are on the right. Um, what was the guy that shot up that baseball game? What who was baseball he on? Game? He's left. He was on the left. One out of. He shot up all those senators. And what was the guy who shot up the thing in Ohio? Listen, he was on the this left. This is my question eh. to you. Let's, here's a scenario. Okay. Left got shooters too. They just wrists are weak. I'm not talking about shooters. There's a disputed election, right? Yeah. The next election, 2020. Yeah. Trump claims this, the other side claims don't that. Don't take my fucking talking points that I've been saying on this goddamn podcast <laughs> and on Breakfast Club for months and nobody want to listen to me because I got a list. I've been saying it too. Listen, so here's the, here's the scenario. Here's the scenario. I've been saying this.